All right, guys, this is Grow Folds coming to you with another plant shopping video. Today, we will be visiting the Prosper Callaway's location right next to the Gates of Prosper. This is a newly opened Callaway's, which is basically a plant nursery that's based in the DFW area. So we'll go ahead and take a peek of, and see what kind of houseplants they have um, at this location. So as you can see, there are tons of beautiful houseplants. It looks like they just got a restock. And then the first plant we see is a Peperomia hanging basket. Look at how cute that is. That almost looks like um, heart-shaped philodendron or even like pothos. So there's a lot of hand bas you know, um, hanging baskets. And then we have some bromeliads. We have a Calathea mosaica. Um, that's pretty cool. And this one is... $8.99. Not bad. And then we have another Calathea orbifolia, bigger versions of the Calathea mosaica. This is really cool right here. Another um, philodendron tiger tooth, $16.99. That's actually a very decent size plant for $16.99. And I believe that is in a four inch um, potted plant. This one is another Calathea right over here for a decent price as well i like that but like i was telling you guys in the previous videos i'm not trying to add any more calatheas at the moment my plant collection is already growing and it's because i keep going to these plant shops so you can see this is another one here philodendron ring of fire 29.99 although i don't think this is a philodendron ring of fire um just because i don't see a lot of variegation for that and then this is another um philodendron rare mix 34.99 i'm not exactly sure what philodendron that is so if you guys know the species please leave it in the comments this is a monstera adansonia for 16.99 that's beautiful and you know with the morning sun it just makes the plants just glow i love it and um, what else do we have here? I like how they have these plants grouped um, as well. This Callaway's actually has a really nice selection of house plants. And look at this right here. This is a beautiful Florida green philodendron um, growing up a pole. And you can see the mature leaves look amazing. I have a Florida beauty um, philodendron growing in my collection, which I've neglected. I'm actually planning on um, propagating it, but look at how beautiful these leaves are. They're just absolutely stunning. And then the next we're gonna be looking at Monsteras. Now, guys, when do you see Monstera Thai constellations in this six inch pot sizes for $89.99? That's insane considering what, like a year ago, two years ago, Thai constellations um, sold for a lot more and now they're becoming more common. Um, I think it's because of the tissue culture process. Um, this one is not as variegated, but this one is really cool too. Look at the new leaf unfurling. I have a Thai constellation I've been growing for three years that I'll feature eventually. That is about four feet tall, but these are nice specimen sizes. So if I really didn't have a Monstera Thai constellation, I would consider getting one, but for $89.99, this isn't bad. I think you can get them for actually cheaper for like $39.99, $45.99, but for a local nursery like Callaway's, and you can see the normal Monstera Delicioso, this one is only $16.99, so you can see the big price difference. I swear, when it comes to anything variegated, anything speckling, anything variegated, the price of the plant just becomes exponentially higher. But, you know, for Monstera Deliciosa, just a regular version, it's still a gorgeous plant. This one is another, let's see, this is an Anthurium Clevenarium for $29.99. Look at that new growth over there. That's beautiful. I love just how, like, certain plants have like a different color of growth so we're going to go see that but here is another monster deliciosa that's a little more far more mature and you can see that this location is just a very peaceful place like if you want to start your morning off just looking at beautiful house plants and just plants in general you need to go to a callaways this one is by proven winners leaf joy alocasia um that's really cool and you can see it's a pretty mature version I have to be weary about alocasia as beautiful as they are 
if I'm going to go into alocasias, I am going to go get the, get the, the variegated ones. Here's another anthurium. Look at how beautiful the veining is on that. But, you know, to go back to alocasias, they're spider mite prone, very much spider mite prone. They need a certain amount of um, humidity. They can't be overwatered, underwater. There's just a lot of, um, you know, care for it. This one's uh, alocasia bambina for $14.99. This um, six inch one, I believe, is an alocasia poly and i think that they were saying the new plant trend for 2024 is going to be variegated alocasia as you can see like all these different versions of variegated alocasia which i want to jump under the bandwagon but they're quite pricey but if i'm going to add a alocasia to my collection i think it's going to be a variegated one so we have some birds of paradise they need pretty much just direct sunlight they need so much light that i don't see how people can really grow them indoors and then you can see this Callaways just has some nice mature specimens. Look at that. Monster Deliciosa. We have another Anthurium. And I like how this um, plant nursery has like a QR code for specific plants so you can get the plant care. And then you can see there's another Anthurium Clavinarium. Um, $29.99 is not bad. I'm just not really good with Anthuriums because I believe they really need a certain amount of like um, humidity. Um, so i've tried to grow some in the past and they just end up dying on me and then here's another monstera deliciosa what i like about monstera deliciosa i had like a mother plant that i was always propagating and i have a lot of little babies um but you can see this is another thai constellation you know part of me wants to pick up this six inch potted um thai constellation but now i'm getting to the point where i need to find in a, a monstera that has a lot more variegation like this one really has some speckled ones I mean, there's that um, Monstera Thai Constellation Cream Brulee, which is like a highly variegated Thai Constellation. It's pricey, but, you know, as I said before, anything variegated, the more variegation, um, the more the plant becomes just more expensive. Like this one right here has some really cool variegation. This almost looks like an elbow just with the sectoral variegation. So like if I were to pick out of all of the Monstera's Thai Constellations, I would pick this one, even though it is a little bit smaller in size but you can see that there is some strong variegation i might actually revisit that at some point if it's still available then we have some more um monstera um Adansonia. this is a philodendron painted lady 19.99 i think you can go to lowe's actually and get a couple more of those for a better price i do like the yellow neon color of this philodendron and then i am a sucker for this so this one is the imperial gold it looks like a philodendron lemon lime but um for $29.99 i'm not quite ready to buy something like this i think i can get a better price but you know with callaways if you're part of their garden rewards program you can literally return any plant as long as you have your receipt and um the the pot that the plant is as well as the dead plant um, for up to a year so i really think it's cool that you can buy a plant and they will give you a full refund at callaways or any callaways location um, so you can see there's more Calathea here. Um, I actually like this one too. Gosh, Calatheas have just been a thing for me and I haven't killed one yet. Mine are, the three that I have are growing pretty well. So we'll see, but like I bought my Calathea White Star at this Callaway's and look at how beautiful this one is. It's growing um, very well for me. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the rest of the hanging baskets. They have a lot of large hanging baskets. This one's a Philodendron Brazil. Um, you can pan out here and you can see that there are some you know, Epipremnum, Aurium, Golden Pothos. Now we have some of my favorite Syngoniums. And this one looks like just a regular pink Syngonium. So I have this Syngonium right here, which actually didn't do well for me. I'm going to have to return it at Callaway's. It just kind of died. I think I might have overwatered it. But you can see that this is only $6.99. And look at how many offshoots it has. So for like a three and a half inch potted Syngonium this full, like you're getting a really good deal for $6.99. Look at all of those um, growth points. And I keep going back to this pink one. Um, I don't know what it is, if it's like pink perfection or some neon robusta, but this one's a really nice one as well. And you can see that the leaves are maturing with the little trilobes. This one is a Syngonium white butterfly or Goglo. I think it's a white butterfly because the um, leaves are a little bit larger. Goglo is a little bit more of a mature, um, miniature one. So that's really nice. This one actually is another Syngonium I was eyeing. Um, it looks like a Syngonium like green matcha. 
but not really it looks maybe like an, uh, some sort of illusion but look at how full this syngonium is i might actually go back and get one of these syngoniums then we have an epiprimnum panatum cebu blue on a totem pole that's pretty cool and then we have a lot of these um philodendron brazils um like this one let's take a look at the price i think what is it 6.99 i might actually purchase one of these i think callaway locations have really good sourced plants and let me look at this this is a regular um heart shape philodendron it's not the neon one i would actually prefer the neon one, but look at how many like leaves it has it's just a really good deal and then we have some marble queen pothos um i love pothos they're easy to grow they're easy to propagate they're fun you know some people think they're common yes they're common house plants but they're easy house plants and i'd rather bring an easy house plant that brings me joy versus a plant that takes a lot of care like this one is a really cool one i might actually end up getting you know a couple of these eventually because look at that variegation right there but the one that has been screaming out to me the most would be the neon pothos I mean, the price for this one was at $16.99. That's not bad at all for six inch. And the quality and health um, at Callaway plants, any Callaway's nursery has some really good plants. Um, some more pearls and jade. I ended up buying one of these actually. And look at the, just the variegation is just gorgeous. The, what, what I find interesting is we have all these pothos, but the one pothos I do not see often is the pothos enjoy. Like you can see that this is a golden um, pothos, not really very um, highly variegated. And then we have this pilea plant, that money plant. And then if you go over here, huge pathophyllums, we got some ficus plants here, some um, rubber trees. We have the taniki, the ruby, and then the burgundy. And then we have the altissima. Um, so that's a nice one. What they did is they actually pruned it and like just hacked it in half and now it looks like a little miniature tree. But look at the green on green variegation. That's actually one of my favorite types of variegation is green on green. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look and you can see I love the morning um, light hitting all of these plants. Here's a, you know, more selection of plants right over here. Look at this. Um, we have a lot of Sansevieria right here. This one is a whale fin. This one actually has a new baby growing, but my favorite one would be the Sansevieria um, moonshine. I like the gray look to it, and I would think that if you potted this up on like a, a, a plant that has like pink, you know, a pink planter, that'd be really cool. This one is a bird's nest sense of area and it has several that you can actually separate that's really cool love the variegation and then let me try to get these little tiny ones i'm actually thinking about getting a sense of area um let's see how much does it cost 4.99 or is it 3.99 that's not bad at all for a little tiny one the thing about sense of areas is they're actually not as easy as people think with growing and then we have some more um zz ravens this one's not, um you can get a better price at like lowe's or a big box store and then we have these zebra plants these are actually blooming and i think those are really cool i've had one before i would say their care is moderate they're not easy but they're not difficult as well i think you just have to make sure the watering is there and now we're getting to my favorite plants and these are the aglonema as you can see this is a fairly large um, aglonema maria I like that. And then we have a Aglonema um, Red Siam. It's beautiful. I love the pre um, pretty little pink stems that they have. And then we have an Aglonema Golden Madonna. Um, for $19.99, you can get a six, six inch potted Aglonema. So that's really cool. Um, I would tell you that I'm probably addicted to Aglonemas the most. They're just gorgeous. And I am in the hunt to get an Aglonema today. Um, look at this beautiful one right over here. There's this one right here with the thinner strap leaves. I'm not 100% sure what this one is called, but it's only $16.99. And look at how much um, leaf and how full and lush these Aglonema are. I think the six inch potted ones that are um, being sold for $16.99 is not bad at all. This one looks like it has some past damage though. The leaves have a little bit yellowing on the tip, so it might be some thrifts. But if this one wasn't actually um, damaged, I would purchase that. It was pretty full. 
Now you can see we have some more smaller aglonema right here. So there's a different kind. These are $12.99 and I've bought um, these, but I actually have the same aglonema. I'm not sure what this one is called. It has the rounder leaves, but I basically overwatered it and I am trying to save it by propagating that final stem and I have a separate video for that. So we're gonna go ahead and spin it around. You can see some succulents right over here. We have some more aglonema and this one is beautiful this is the one i ended up buying from this location so i have one here i'm not 100 percent sure what the aglonema id is so if you know please leave a comment and this one as well look at the red veining on this aglonema there's just really amazing um variegation so if you know what this aglonema is well please leave it in the comments i'd i'd love you forever I've been eyeing this aglonema for more than two months and it's become leggy and I almost want to just like rescue it and cut it up, propagate it and make it big. I might try to see if I can get a discount and see if they would sell it to me at a discounted price because I would totally do it. This one is an aglonema um, eagle edge or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I ended up getting one of those as well. I like the green um, stems. It's kind of like the aglonema white margin, but it has pink instead. Um, this is another one I was looking at, and this one has the thinner um, strap, so I'm not 100% sure what the aglonema ID is. So guys, if you know it, please leave it in the comments. I really want to know what this aglonema is called. And let's see, we have some more golden madonnas. I have one that I'm rehabbing and growing. And then these are the ones. Now, I'm not sure if, I don't think these are Silver Bay. These are definitely not Silver Bay, but I'm going to get one of these today because look at how big this aglonema is. Literally for $16.99, you get a six inch pot with like three or four aglonema with these big leaves. They look like they're painted. I love the color. The silver look is amazing. So there's like three of them. Look at that absolutely stunning you would think that this was a fake plant but it is not and it is an easy plant so if you're asking me what my favorite species of plants are aglonema have taken the crown and then it would be syngoniums and then it would end up being philodendron but i'm just gonna walk over here because look at this monstera deliciosa it's insane right look at this monster and i know that this is for sale i don't know what the price is i don't really want to disturb it but you can see that you have such a gorgeous mature specimen so you can see the how how big monstera can get if you just let them mature i actually my tie constellation is getting that big so i'll feature that on the next video and then you can see that there are larger plants but i also saw this one can somebody please leave a comment to let me know what this plant species is but i think it is 199 yep so I'm not 100% sure what this is. I'm sure it's some sort of philodendron, but I love the leaves and I think it is growing on a pole. But these mature um, house plants that you can get at Callaway's are actually um, priced fairly. And again, if they die within a year, you can literally return them and you get your money back. So there's not a lot of um, risk, but <coughs> excuse me, buying from Callaway's. And let's see. I love looking at the pothos. The lighting is amazing. I love just looking at all the hanging baskets. I don't really have a lot of hanging plants in my house. I think it's just because I can't really install them on the top of my roof, but look at these syngoniums. Like they're so gorgeous, so lush, so full. So if you are in the DFW market, you definitely gotta go to a Callaway's. I would say not all Callaway's are the best, but the Prosper one, is amazing in its presentation for houseplants. It doesn't have the biggest selection. I would say the biggest selection is probably in Plano or the one off McKinney, but here is a um, selection of the Aglonema. I got all three of them that were available. That's the first one. This is the second one. And then this is the third one, which I would say has the most, most leaves and is the most full and is the least leggy. Um, I just don't like that not all of the leaves there's like two or three leaves that are not perfect but it's not as leggy as the other two and the other two are a little bit smaller so i'm thinking i'm probably going to end up getting this one right here but i'm also torn between the first one although the first one has a little bit more legginess 
Um, and then lastly, I just wanted to go pan out again on this philodendron um, Florida green. Even if it's not variegated, the mature plant just looks amazing. I love that red um, petiole or like the stem portion of it and just the feature. It's just a feature plant. Um, I always tell people that sometimes one beautiful mature plant is better than having like a hundred small juvenile plants. So I ended up just getting this one, um, this aglonema. I'm not 100% sure. So if anybody can please let me know. I don't know if it's literally the Silver Bay. I don't think it is. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little shopping tour of the Callaways off of Preston. And I will catch you on the next video.